new series is exploring the murders of Barry and Honey Sherman. It has been more than five years since the billionaire couple were found murdered in their Toronto home. As of today, there are no named suspects and no arrests have been made, and the case remains unsolved. I have a theory of the case. I have a belief that I know who did it. So that is the Toronto Star's chief investigative journalist, Kevin Donovan, in his new four-part series, Digging Deeper Into the Case. It is called Billionaire Murders, and Kevin is in studio with us this morning. Welcome. Good morning. Okay, you put it out there, so I have to ask, who did it, in your opinion? Uh, well, I'm not going to say that <laughs> for obvious legal reasons. Uh, I do have a theory. I believe the police have the same theory, and and uh, independently, we're moving in, in, I would assume, the same direction, and, and stay tuned. So how much longer do you think until we have an arrest until they name a suspect. Are we close? Well, the police uh, say they are moving in the right direction. They are seeking information uh, through warrants in five countries internationally. They won't say which countries they are. Hmm. It's financial information they're looking for. I believe they're looking to prove a benefit was paid to some person or persons uh, to be part of this. Uh, I don't think it's uh, some mysterious international hitman. I think it's related to uh, people who knew the Shermans. Uh, I'll be back in court on behalf of the Toronto Star later this fall, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get more answers. Uh, it's a little like watching paint dry because, <laughs> the, because the police have to jump through so many hoops to get information internationally, uh, but I think we'll get some more answers this fall. Following the money. Okay, you have written extensively on this for the Star. There is a book. There's a podcast. There's now this four-part TV series. You know so much about this case, probably more than most Canadians. Is there an element of it that still gnaws at you? Uh, I think there's uh, there's there's two elements. The, the first one, obviously, um, what is it going to take to prove that person or persons did this? Uh, the other one is just going back to the start of it. As, as your viewers will know, this was misidentified as a murder-suicide mm -hmm. right out of the gate. Um, how could the Toronto Police possibly have made this mistake? Uh, in the documentary, uh, uh, you, you'll hear from a, a, a coroner who's talking about uh, the, how the bodies were found. You'll see you know, recreations of how the bodies were found. Uh, viewers will look at this and, and think what I saw and what the realtors uh, thought. How could this be anything but a double murder? This is what I want to ask you. The visual elements of this series are what really stays with you. Because listening to the podcast, which, by the way, is one of my favorite podcasts. If you're looking for one, listen to the Billionaire Murders podcast. But I would listen to it over and over, trying to imagine what the realtors saw when they walked in. And you do the recreations in this, and they're they really stay with you. Did you have a hand in, in saying yes or no, or this looks like what I think it should be? How did they come about? Yeah, so I, uh, through sources, got access to the photos, the police photos uh, of the crime scene. And, so these uh, are based off those photos? They're, they're, yeah, so they're, 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 they're exactly like the photos, except for we uh, did not want to show the photos. And uh, so uh, Joe Denisi, our showrunner, Vince Buda, uh, one of the executive producers uh, and the team uh, at uh, E1, uh, worked to uh, recreate them. And you'll see it's about a 45-foot distance between where the realtor walked walks into the pool room and where the Shermans are posed in the seated position. And so uh, you'll really get a sense of, of, of what it was like. Um, and it's, uh, I think it's tastefully done, uh, but it's it's very stark and very real. Yeah, it really, really sits with you. I have to ask you, Kevin, you, you know, you've done the podcast, you've done the book, you've got this TV series, you're front and center of this. Does that make gathering information easier or harder for you now? Uh, it actually makes it easier, uh, okay. oddly. Um, I mean, uh, there's no shortage of people to call up and give me their theories. Um, I, there's, uh, you know, uh, new themes uh, in this investigation that I'm developing, uh, and it kind of helps people uh, feel more comfortable about talking to a journalist. And, and you know, as you know, in, in our business, we want people to feel comfortable. We want fact-based journalism, yeah. and that's what uh, this is all about. All right, Billionaire Murders, you can catch it Friday on Crave. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.